Hey guys, so today I am here with Ilair, I believe that is how you pronounce it, virgin hair. I am showing you guys the packaging, how everything came, because we are going to get into a full tutorial on the haircut, the look, everything. So this is how the wig came. It was a 10 inch lace front bob, and I'm just basically showing you guys everything from the packaging. Next, we're going to start with bleaching the knots. So I'm taking two scoops of Salon Care Quick White and some 40 volume developer and mixing that together. You want it to be a pretty thick consistency so that it doesn't go through the lace onto the hair. You want to pat it onto the lace to bleach your knots. Bleaching your knots is important to giving your wig a more scalp-like effect. If you wear lace, you know that the knots on the lace are black or the color of the hair. So of course you're going to want to bleach that because your regular scalp does not have knots on it. So now I'm going to wrap it in the packaging that it came in and just let it sit to the side. I let it sit for 20 to 25 minutes and then we're just going to jump right into plucking the hairline. After I let the knots process, I just washed it out with some clarifying shampoo and conditioned. Now I'm just going to go in with my tweezers, making sure to not over, over pluck it, but I don't really have too much of a method for this, I'm going to be honest. I'm just basically going ham, so this is how this is going. You guys can just follow along. Yes, so now that our hairline is nice and plucked and not full and super unnatural looking, we are going to apply it to our heads. Yay! We are going to take our old reliable got to be glued. If you guys don't know how to use this cap method, I will try to link a video down below of like a good cap method video because I did not record this part. I am just going to put it on my head and clip the hairline back just so any flyaways don't get cut when I cut the lace. Now I'm just looking closely and cutting off the excess lace very close to the hairline but not cutting any of the hair off. Boom, so now that we are done with that, everything's looking good. It's looking pretty laid so far. We're going to attach our elastic band. So the elastic band just helps with the security of the wig. Um, you just measure it across your head from where the frontal part would end. So you measure it ear to ear, and then you just go in and sew it on. I place it where the ears are on my wig. So next, we're going to take this got to be glued, oh, crrr, this is like the uh, Old Faithful at this point, and I am just going to apply my first layer of that and let it dry completely. Alright, so I'm putting a little bit of powder foundation on the lace. This is optional since I did already bleach my knots, but I always try to make my wigs look the best. I'm going to go ahead and go in with my second layer of Got To Be Glued and then let's lay this lace, okay? Alrighty, so it's time to lay the lace down. I basically just kind of unroll it from the back and I use the teeth of the comb to lay it down. I don't use the tail part because I find that it just pushes the hair into the glue and I don't want to do that. It's actually not glue, it's gel, but it's called got to be glued. So if I refer to it as glue, that is why, okay? Okay. 
Okay, so using a toothbrush to pull out my baby hairs, I only use this brush for my hair. I go in and I trim them little by little with an eyebrow razor. Um, you can use that or if you have an actual razor to cut hair, you can use that as well, whatever it is you want. And I just take that little by little and do it that way. Um, what I'm using to lay my baby hairs down right now is Silk Elements Edge Control. I'm just using a little bit. All right, so here we have the wig. We have it applied and laid and slayed. Now it is just time to style. Honestly, you guys, going into this look, I did not really know how it was going to turn out. Um, I didn't even think about the boy cut look yet. So I just went in and started curling it. And I just was trying to get kind of a idea of how I wanted the hair to actually look. The hair on its own was really pretty. After the wash, it still was really nice. The knots bleached really nice. I honestly feel like I did a really good job. So I'm super happy that I'm like perfecting whatever technique it is. Um, so then basically once I cut and got kind of an idea of how the hair was going to look, I just went in and started cutting. I am not someone that really has a specific technique for cutting hair um so i just was going in with my shears and just kind of layering it and layering it and layering it to my face i really didn't cut a lot off at a time because i am not the most comfortable with cutting hair especially on my own head so yeah you guys can just kind of follow along with what i was doing i cut at an angle to avoid any blunt cuts and i'm just pushing it to the back because that was kind of the style i was going for so yeah we just chop chopping it up Okay, so I used some Tresemme styling mousse and just put that into my hairline and into my hair and I combed it through. I really wanted to see what this hair would look like with a slick back look and like I said, I was pretty much winging it at this point. I tried to get some clips of me cutting the back part, but unfortunately I was not recording and my back was facing the camera, so yeah. Sorry about that, but I just used the same technique cutting. I just put the wig into like a V shape. I have learned that that is how feminine haircuts typically look. So, so yeah, this is the next, next day. day. I'm just kind of even it out. out. I did, I did all, this all this with the wig on. on. I didn't, I didn't take the wig off to do any of the cutting. So, so it's not 100% perfect, but that's totally okay. I'm going in with my flat iron and just flattening my hairline out. And 
bumping everything we're gonna curl it up Chance on the beat. Okay, so we're going to put some Tresemme body volumizing hairspray in our hair and we're going to pause on the hair for now and move on to this face, okay? So I am taking my Too Faced chocolate bar. I have been using the dark brown in that palette to do my brows. And I actually really like it, surprisingly. I was never one for using powder on my brows, but I've really been liking how it looks a lot lately. So let's get into this brow. Okay, okay. And we're just going to carve it out. I will leave the specific concealers and face products that I use below. I really wanted to focus on the eyes for this All right, so I am setting my eyelids so that the concealer doesn't crease with my Airspun Translucent Face Powder. And I am using my ColourPop Gel Eyeliner to wing out my liner. Okay, so once we get that eyeliner winged out, we are going to take our BH Cosmetics Modern Mattes Palette and kind of focusing this under the crease, a little bit in the crease, but mostly on the lid is where this look is supposed to be. Next, I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Sienna. Lastly, I am just smoking out the actual wing liner and then applying a black on the actual lid. This is a really simple and easy look. It does not have to be perfect. It's meant to look grungy and just kind of thrown together, but it's an awesome smoky look. I put on my foundation, which I will leave the info for that down below. And then I'm just going to use MAC eyeliner in my waterline. After that's applied, I am taking the black eyeshadow and just smudging that out. Then I'm going to go under the waterline with the same colors I used in the crease. Going back in with my ColourPop gel liner and a small angled brush, I am just doing my inner corner wing, basically just a small triangle in the inner corner. I tried to show you guys as best as I could, but I was super close to the mirror. Sorry. Then we are going to finish off our hair. I'm going to go back in and re and relay those baby hairs, okay? on the beat. 
all right so here is the finished look this is my first time doing something like this and i actually think it came out really great first time cutting hair like this especially on myself so you guys definitely let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below i posted a picture on instagram and you guys went brazy okay oh my goodness so and I really love it a lot so let me know what you guys think this wig worked with me really perfectly for this look like it curled perfect it cut good the knots bleached well it just yes so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and thank you guys so much for watching bye